my entire life, I have struggled with weight. And the bottom line is, if I don't want to gain weight, then I cannot indulge in behaviors that contribute to gaining weight, like eating food that is not great for me. So maybe you can understand this in terms of the Christian faith. There are many things that look tempting in this life, many things. But God is very clear that if we are to call ourselves followers of him, we cannot indulge in these behaviors. So many of you know I've been reading through the chronological Bible, and I'm in 1 Corinthians right now, centering on passage, uh, chapter number 6. Today's verses are hard, but keep in mind what I said. There's desire, and then there's acting on those desires. Listen here. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusive or cheat people, None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. God is in the business of redeeming lives. If you have once been on this path and you've done these things, this is not a condemnation. But God says if you want to walk forward into new life, you can't do these things anymore. You need to pursue new life with me. God provides the way. God gives us the Holy Spirit to help us, to give us someone to cling to as we walk through this life, navigating really hard things, hard choices. We'll have other temptations along the way. The key is not to indulge ourselves, but to be filled with the Spirit. The things of God that fill us often take the place of things in our lives that are not healthy for us, not healthy for us physically, for our hearts, for our souls. My friend, God wants what's best for you. I hope you realize this as you hear these hard passages and know how much he loves you and is here for you. Blessings on you as you navigate this journey.